How are you today, guys? Arky, your friendly designer, is here to give you another step-by-step -step basic tutorial for Dialux Evo. In this video, which is part 3 of a series of basic Dialux Evo tutorials for beginners, I'll show you how to use Aperture within the Dialux Evo software, which will teach you how to properly place windows and doors in Dialux Evo step by step. But before we get started, I recommend that you watch my previous videos on how to import AutoCAD files part 1, and how to construct a building part 2 in Dialux Evo. Let's get started by going to the fourth icon, Aperture, which is placed in the left corner of the Dialux Evo. Under the Aperture, you'll notice two icons that you should be familiar with and how they work if you're working on a project. The first is to position the active building opening, and the second is to draw a new building opening. Let me show you how to click the active building opening and then click it on the CAD drawing because he will automatically place it. From the 3D rendering view to see what happened another alternative is to drag the window or door. Then by right clicking the mouse. You may move, rotate, scale, copy, and delete. Down here properties you can check fixed cutting depth to modify the cutting depth can also check the daylight relevant. From dimensions you have the option of changing the height, frame of width, and the height of the sill. Drawing a new building's opening is a little different because you can't draw a window like this. Moving on to the select button, you may select from a variety of doors and windows. By replace selected building openings, you can replace the selected window or door. Also you can replace all specified windows or doors just click replace all openings of this type. From the positioning you can modify the position and rotation. Thank you for coming to see us at Graphic Arc Lighting Design. Before we wrap out this video, I'd like to give a shout out to Yara Shoyo, Emilio Zambrano, Zakia Belula, and MK Experience. Thank you very much for all of your comments, I really appreciate it. Please leave a comment if you think you learned something new today, and if you can subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell button so that you will be notified when I upload my next video. Look forward to seeing you again then, bye!